Eh. Hopefully, hopefully I've got these friggin' chat or these uh, volume levels right. I've had problems with that in the past. Uh, YouTube. Three AM for you there, isn't it? No, you're 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 chipping in on anyway. You're you're I can see you're typing. So it's you know, still GMT. I don't know. I'm two AM for me. Facebook thing it was screwing it up. Let's double check this is screwing. Password in that chat. Definitely think the mic's still gonna be too low.
See, I've got it turned up pretty high. See, that's maybe what is wrong with it. Last one. <sighs> Might be a mix up on the timings here or something. doing the ticket system thing, they're just um, assuming who... Yeah. as well. <laughs> Might as well. Let everyone know. Stream to YouTube, but it'll, it'll let you stream to YouTube as well if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Sure, me and Bazaar were streaming at the same time there. I think we tried it with up to three or four so far. Trickling in. Would have thought they would have started the burn around, let them fall in then. Mm. 
I'm assuming the walled guys are standing. I suppose I don't really know yet. Fill in more on this and we'll get started here. Let's bring up the maps. Maps are no, they're playing each playing each map twice, it looks like things. Got one logger for burn, Savod twice, hammerhead twice, and mortar as the tiebreaker. Operation mortar. So but he said whoever wins he said it's not the ticket thing like usual, it's the just whoever wins the round outright, so I'm assuming it's it must be best of three or something. Yeah, best I think best three or four. Um and then if they go into the tiebreaker then uh, then it's tickets. Mm. Funny feeling the OGF you might run a bit longer than an hour then. So far and half get in. Uh, push right through with this burn. FPV in blue and R and in red now. Spawn begins going off everywhere. in the snow lane. Probably the FTV the guy didn't see that for us just took him down in no hassle. And he's literally playing the matrix here with three of them. He's pushed halfway up. Can't get him. Yeah, that's him down. None of the RNS guys is watching either of those back answers to charter they're gonna end up getting spawn right here if it's an actually made a big push from the outside. server. The UPC guy. Got one of these uh, FTV guys going on a full on mountain hike. Out around on the snow lane here. Never actually seen that one done before. He ran basically the whole way of the outside. And this guy with the DMR out here in town. Now he's in a skill cam and he knows he's there, so he's probably gonna get. Is that, uh. 
Charlie them out, they are, their FTV is pushing the whole snow in. Mm, Charlie's left all by himself here. Yeah, it's in that. I've got a couple of FTV guys on Charlie. A squad leader, it looks like. One squad leader, too. I was falling in on him. I'm fine. Just broke through. Low on Charlie. The breakthrough. But definitely hits a little bit of bad taste in your eyes losing the burn around, even though it doesn't mean anything. Uh, nearly, a, nearly a full squad of the FTV there, all pushed on the Charlie, and they were all just wiped out one after the other. All taking down the corridor rather than spreading out. Yeah, the gravy the bigger teams don't want to show their hand and go too too hard in the burn round. I don't know if there's any weapon bombs or anything in this, is there? actually get into the locker. Oh, they've got a spawn beacon actually up outside the chopper. Uh, the helipad, the helipad, sir. FTV. Up high there, above the doorway. Yeah. I'm not coming out to investigate where it is yet. Got one guy is having a look, but... He must hear it. And one of them finds one of the RNS guys that definitely knows where the big guy is. Can we get that removed? Uh, RNS pushing heavy on the snow wing. 
five guys. Three, four guys pushing towards uh, Alpha, and there's not one single FTB guy back to uh, defend it. Everyone's closest guy looks like he's at the metal attackers. Yeah, two falling back now to cover it. There's a lot of hardcore guys seem to favor that M M16 semi-auto, and I suppose it's really only effective on this. He's a bastard of my master. Char Charbar using that for um, FTB. Cycle 3, M4, another semi auto. Risk taker, FTB. MG4, Charty Death. Or Flare Scope. Hit Flare Scopes. Yeah. 15 minutes. Hmm. Just curious whether those links are actually still up. So if DB takes the uh, burn round, it was quite a healthy ticket lead. Not that tickets matter in this, but that mm. was quite, quite significant. Still hard ass with three guys down. The kill patterns are quite uh, interesting there. The amount of negative deaths FTV have. Just uh, take the well, their chances over to get them in, unless they fall in late. See, so it'll be interesting how much it affects them uh, getting into this. Obviously, FTB had the massive advantage last round, considering yeah, all 16 of them spawned before the RNS guys even got yeah. out of the gate. So, could be a different story here. Well, they're ready up now. This time we have RNS in the uh, Russian blue and FTV in the US red. for FTV to chase them in the chopper now. Doesn't actually have any gunners to shoot to help take out take them out. Yeah. 
three guys, four guys back here for RNS. And only one squad leader falling yeah. back to counter it. Oh, I'm a tank. Squad leaders in the train here, if they can stay alive. Place a tug and <laughs> and one of the train carriages. He must be using his clairvoyance to see the results from that. And Mr. Miyagi. Literally wasted that chopper's taxi, dropped it <laughs> back on Delta again. Okay, if Adam knew they were they were dying, we could have been donated a couple of guys. Alpha. He's all by him. he's all by himself. Yeah, he's dropped. Show tripper or show stopper, sorry. Doesn't seem to be too much life out of RNS here, do not it? They all seem to be stacked up on Bravo. There's a hell of a lot of them on Bravo. Oh, they finally secured that cap on Delta. Just getting bombarded by uh Pro RBL for the artillery yeah, truck. Spawn and moving into Delta with nothing to, nothing there to left left the answer to it. Super Super G4 looks like driving that thing. Super six four sorry. Car S getting shorted. Uh, 
Now the Alpha or the Charlie Cap, they're losing Bravo. Very spread out. Can't sell the case of the three guys down. He's away for a Sunday drive. He's away by the the large Alpha. He's taking a really scenic drive around the outside. I think that's. And the FTV tanks pushed all the way to Alpha to try and meet it. Neither, neither, neither seem. He's just rammed it in reverse, so whether or not some he's yeah, he's took a pot shot in that direction. I feel like this is such a waste of uh, the, R the RNS tank. Yeah, he's just sort of still looking for that tank that is now fucked off back into Bravo. Pushing a chopper up high, assuming they're. Yeah, another taxi. Just used for RNS, it's completely abandoned it. And that was. Jumbo Clips, I think that was. Yeah, Jumbo Clips. Parachute it down on Bravo, squad leader. And he's taken out. Definitely missed that chopper. <laughs> yeah, very frustrating. Sorry, I didn't even catch up on that one. <laughs> they done quite well in the DAFCON tournament, did not they? RNS, I thought they got pretty quick, pretty far. Doing work on those guys. Falling back to Bravo from Delta. And we've got a giant squad here for FTV just gonna come down and cap Delta again. No, no, actually, sorry, we've got a squad leader from FTV on uh, Delta. Joe just going and reinforcing Alpha, waiting for the push. One guy pushing for himself for RNS. Looks like John. Stopper firmly out of ammo with only six kills, three deaths, 14 rounds left. Sort of tactic going on here, they're not even leaving anyone back to hold out every time the 
get a flag, they're pushing straight up, leaving it undefended. Here comes the RAS chopper for another taxi event. Yeah, jumbo clips once again drops the chopper. So we can get onto the roof of Charlie. Takes out a spawn beacon, I think that was. Got an MTV using uh, miles, trying to get some enemy position locations. Oh, tank showdown here on Alpha, I think that is. I think it was a tank shooter. PRD guy, the Wolf guy for FTV is doing some serious work on that rocket truck from way back behind the map. Yeah. He just took he just took out the armor on Alpha. A couple of guys like they stopped the cap from the other side of the map. There's a uh, anyone wants to see a certain uh, angle or anything in the chat, if you want to just drop me a, a message, we'll s switch to that area. And there's two point of views going up guys, if you just want to, you can swap between mine and end seekers on the channel. A couple of guys from FTV just chilling at Alpha, not a car in the world. TV with a lot of presence on Charlie. Mm. Basically, though, it looks like the whole of RNS is on uh, Bravo at the minute. Two squad leaders. Asking if you could turn up your mic. Please. Thank you. Can you hear my mic alright, guys? Had issues with that before. If you go into the party setting tree, that's where you would do it. Guys, four oh, stacked up on Alpha here. Trying to get the cap. I've got one of the FTV squad leaders just coming in. Showstopper is taken down. Okay. 
don't think my mic can go very much higher than this. Yeah, it might be a personal thing. Dirty Joe just count what I've done. <laughs> just parked this uh, chopper on top of the building, just sitting there. Oh, tanks come in to answer him. Just out in time. A couple of mines down to answer it if he comes straight through after him. And Johnny Eleven takes him out and we're gonna try to see if this tank rolls over these. Yeah, you sound good now, Shri. From, uh, I haven't said anything. <laughs> no, well, he says, quick triple X and Brandon Lodge both, uh, both say I sound good now, so. Must be just a wee bit of a delay in the stream. <laughs> okay, well, it's loud enough, so it's probably if it's good enough. No, no, it sounds perfect. Got an FTV taken back. Well, they're trying to take back Bravo there, it looks like it's contested. A bit closer looking at this. FTV tank, watch it from the outside. Yes. Yep, FTV's gonna take Bravo. They are working on Charlie, I think. Only one of the RNS guys. I make that two RNS guys and Chuck Norris dropped them from the roof. TV guys have got uh, 180 tickets and RNS guys as well. So it looks like a micro RNS wave. Uh, sorry, for TV wave. Yeah. Get a marvel of epic proportions of the gutter back at this stage. Scores are quite good and so, uh, sort of kill the deaths, but obviously you know, it doesn't really matter much. Good. Mm. Yeah, so those three extra guys on the flight the captain now. It doesn't seem like much, but it's, it seems to be doing them a little bit of harm at this point. Alright, so the first map, or well, first uh, first round of the first map goes to FTV. So what do you guys think of the match so far? What's your your predictions for who's gonna take it? Well, it looks like the R and S do not have an answer for the ATV guys. Definitely that's what I was thinking. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. not going to be a good feeling to be uh, three people down in a match like this. It could be affecting the way they're playing completely as well. Mm, especially the first Sean. Uh, Angry's first appearance will be on Sunday, guys. <laughs> yeah, both, both the guys are commenting mine are both FTV guys. Hopefully not playing. It's gotta be good for them. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be good for them, you know. It's their own tournament as well, so yeah. Gotta be a good feeling. Well, Brown, that was too lopsided. You could always donate them a couple of guys. I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Mm. But sure, where's the fun in that? <laughs> and so this round we have. FTV in Russian blue and RNS in yes red. Is there anyone you would like me to stay on, guys, and uh, get their point of view? Just let me know in the comments. Okay, so I get started now. Um, let us see what RNS does with their chopper. I'm gonna use it this time, or if it's gonna be again. A bit of hurry, are. Two choppers were shooting each other there with Sherbar Planet, but all is. Uh, sort of all is, uh. Yeah, it's all built out.
car in this case, just kept Alpha. Very nice push. Probably the FTV going in there. Just Yeah, so just pushing a squad onto uh, Dallas at the moment. He just got stopped, whatever it is. Charity Genesis is also on Dallas at this point. Just chasing each other around these containers. Backing off, get the wraps. PRD is back on the uh, MGA. That should be fun. No, two flags each at the moment. It's a lead just going to RNS actually. Five points so far. RNS is also contesting on uh, on Charlie. But there's such a heavy presence, I think probably a couple. Swarmed out, but there's no one there to answer. Them. Sorry, there's two people there to answer them, but far too much travel. Yeah. Alright, this guy took out the chopper pilot. He's going for a Leroy on the tank. I think he actually killed himself there when in Singer. But perhaps that was a different guy. It's got to be the worst. RNS guy's still pushing for Alpha, even though they haven't got Bravo or Charlie. Got the squad leader just pushing straight for Alpha at the moment. Got a MRAP there, and the tank is pushing towards Charlie. Two RNS guys back on Alpha. Charlie, take him down. Or sorry, one of the RNS guys. RNS has got a 
one beacon um, at the moment. RNS actually might be fine in their rhythm here. The, the tickets are literally going down. Tit for tad. There's still three guys down, so they, they're actually doing really, really well. Mm. Three cap now, and they're going to test an alpha maybe to get back there. Bounce it up. Got the uh, FTV tank pushing wide, way wide round. Getting on uh, Delta to engage the other tank here. That guy's running. Savage shell on head. Uh, go ahead. I'm missing a rock because of that. Uh, that bomb there. Q. He's trying to get a cat, but he's on his own, kind of. Jumbo clips. Got uh, the PRD guy, the Walt. Got on the guy on the vault tags, he's got back in the rocket truck. The tank's still present. The FTV's done, got wraps there, there's one of his. Oh, here comes the tank engagement back again. Tank just not pushing the other one. He's just sitting way back up near spawn. Is your rabbit again? Q212. It's the one sporting the UPCs, the UPCs tag. And the pedo, and the pedo bear emblem. by Huey, long range, basically from the spawn. But he's getting hit by him. And he's just not getting that long range shot on with his thermals, just out of range. Huey needs to be more aggressive at that time. Guys up there, three guys up there, and the uh, chopper support pushing in. FCB birds in, but inbound as well, <coughs> as well with dirty jewel flying. Very slow match. Each team's got two caps. Tickets aren't really going down too much. Tempo's definitely slowed down. each other, hit each other a couple of times and back and way off. Could have been nice to put the FTV in here <coughs> for the first uh, game, but... I'm not sure I've seen the triple axe guys play. They they get the buy ball after the next round. Um, yeah, the buy. FTV 
tank's definitely been a lot more aggressive. He's up at Alpha, he's just sticking on the outside of the road and taking as many targets down as he can from the outside. on Frost against the RNAs. Oh, on C4. Yeah. Tormenti for FTV in the tank, just taking out with C4. Back to 3 cap for F FTV. FTV is definitely chipping away at uh, at Arnis tickets, so it seems as though they they could could take this round as well. But um, you never know what could happen. BL guy, definitely loving this rocket truck. Every round so far, well, both rounds, he's hogged it the whole time. <laughs> but he's been effective in it. It's not as if he's just wasting it. Just burning down out here. Twenty two guys on it. More after you fight guys just running in now to pressure them off with the tank. Looks like I might get a four cap if I don't lose. Delta. No, it is yeah, looks like it's gonna go a four cap here. Some serious work in for FTV at 20, 2098. Interesting to see if we find what he's using. There he is. It's from the AR, AR 160. Uh, nice guy, Chris. Still up in the rafters. Just down near the crushers here on Charlie, and you cannot see this guy up in the rafters. There's three of them up there. He's going very wide, being extremely safe. Yeah, he's keeping the tank all. Two tanks. Oh, 
four liter for RNS coming in to back up as well. Nah, he's taking out straight up. He's, he's caught in the crossfire. RNS on Alpha, we've got uh, Soldier 93. Uh, he's actually neutralizing the flag, so they're not that YouTube on my laptop for some reason. It's 47 tickets left. RNS losing both their flags. And Huey, Huey has managed to keep that tank alive. I'm assuming from the start of the round he's 10 to 0, but. I'm surprised if he's even capped the flag or attempted it. Well, to keep a, um, a tank up to the entire match, you only have 10 kills as well. Um, that doesn't seem actually offering a lot of support. I think already the support has been around Delta whenever the RNS tank has come through. Yeah, RNS tanks definitely put a lot more work in. I'll agree with that one. This guy was a my team, you get a swift kick in the bollocks. Definitely, I wouldn't be happy with him. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't be happy with the tank just sitting way back there. I don't mind if it's on the charge, hit, punch, and then backed off the wrap. That's that's not me, that's not a problem, but... Okay, he's over watching Delta, but he's like, but he's not pushing it. Now, the fact that you've actually got the uh, Delta capped by FTV, have a lot of guys on it, uh, from it to find out, but mm. the tank is just kind of waiting. There's one, one, one infantry guy and another tank there against his teammate, just got flattened, and he's still just sitting there. Yeah. Two. He might actually get taken out, and there's a C4 quad coming up here as well, but he's not going to see. Oh, 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 just oh. missed. It just, was just, just rolling just. in. <laughs> that was a bit of a salty oh, one. You've just given us a few more seconds. <laughs> yeah. So that's the VOD going to FTV. It was a comfortable win. Yeah, so out of four so far, FTV's got two of the map, well, two of the rounds. Uh, do you know, do they stop playing if they get three, or do they carry on and do the I'm not actually well? sure. Looks like one I of the... I suppose we'll have to see how it goes. I think one of the RNS guys has just dropped out, and another one's been replaced, because of that Ace... That Miller yeah, time he guy, he definitely wasn't there before, so... I don't know what the story is there. Either he wasn't there before, or he has done nothing the entire map. No, I definitely don't. I've been sort of checking the scores now and again, and just just out of interest, and definitely haven't seen that name. Oh, Hammerhead, Joy. Oh, Hammerhead. Not one of my favorites at all. Be interesting to see how well the hover tanks are used in this one. Hopefully we'll get to see some um, some air, air push as well, so that'd be great. Mm.
Oh, RNS is down to 12. So somebody else has also dropped out. It's not... It's not looking good for them. It's not looking... Well, it's not looking good for the tournament in general. I know it's, I know it's the first one out, but... Or obviously FTV can't control it, but it's just definitely does not a it's not a good uh, look. So I've got uh, RNS and US blue and FTV in Russian red. RNS taking an age to get out of deployment here. Looks like there's three of them, or two of them at least, left behind on foot. There's a bit of a dog fight happening. Oh, I got one. Uh, one of the Just miss a taxi. Little bird. Dirty Joe and the little bird. And Brandon, I'm not too sure if it's one more win or not. Um, Charity um, didn't exactly... I didn't really get a chance to talk to him too much, just got asked to do the stream at the basically the last second, so I could believe it is one more round, but I'll just need to double check on that. Technically it is um, yeah, one more win and they would win the, the match. Whether or not they're gonna actually play the fourth round or not, it may not have a potential. Looks like the FTV guys aren't even interested in the hover tank. It's just sitting there by Delta. Not being used. Standard tank for FTV is pushing wide right over the isolate, isolate towards Alpha. FTV's pretty much got this tank. If they can keep uh, the three cap up, it's not going to be a long round. Yeah. I mean, there's no one. There's one guy, two guys maybe, pushing inside the mountain. Everyone else is just sort of hanging back. Do you have some iron in prison? The inside, Charlie? There's beacon outside, Charlie. gang rape on two tanks there, the, the hover tank just mounted on top of the standard one. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then both, both, yeah, both in instantly blew up, so I don't know what happened there, if anyone got the kill or not. Looks like the cap's trying to be held on Charlie here. Uh, it's, it's a don't ask, don't tell situation. Yeah, pretty much. A lot of the FTV guys now answering the Charlie cap. Oh. Our Erebus coming in to see if we can hold them all up. Got some support. Oh, nice flank. Yeah, he's taking down. Risk taker. Nice easy gamer tag to read there. Zero progress. 
Well, that's, that's a that's KD going. The ship. Obviously, the, the node must have some sort of spawn beacon or something, so they might have heard all their attention to that area. I haven't pushed Alpha yet. The amount of presence they seem to have. I do feel, do feel bad for RNS, but it does them seem like the, they're sort of fighting with one high, hand tied behind their back. With those extra guys down. Drop people in without asking them because best intentions can be taken wrong. The tiebreaker round was. Let's just double check what the tiebreaker round was. Mortar would have been interesting to see. Yeah. It's nice to see DLC maps being used as well. Pressure on Alpha here. A couple of guys on the roof on Overwatch. Back on the immediate gimme flag. Just wasting more tickets trying to defend that flag. We kept attacking um, it was Alpha on the last round. Hover tanks back up for RNS. with me. 
this is going to be left with a four cap here against them. FTVs. Take it off the back again. Must have shut, shut Genesis down. Yeah, RNS has taken back Alpha. A few guys on Charlie at the minute. And Arn is But he was very, very low health. Just waiting for something to happen. We have one guy for RNS trying to cap Bravo, Frost. These fights they make that a lot of resistance. He's there all them down self now. Yeah, it's him drop. Zero progress. Infomercial's still up. Uh, that's him on some space. Two guys left. Two guys from RNS left. Yeah, the circle there. Not doing a bad job yet. Circling around uh, the outskirts of Bravo there. Oh, and not. That was brilliant to watch first hand. Frost, instead of uh, coming in and shooting, I didn't see him at all. He did a full cycle. RNS 3 cap. Maybe FTV just got a little bit less basic over there. Maybe they're just finding their speed. There is not ever an FTV Spawn begins just outside Bravo, and they're using it quite heavily. Genesis literally. 
Dennis literally saw the guy spawn on the beacon and ran away from him. Charlie by, Charlie by name, Charlie by nature. Trying to get the cap, but he's, so he's all by himself. Uh, yeah, just back up now for us. Still using that beacon. Take an eye from up the top. Down to 60 tickets. I think this will be the end of it. I think we might find it behind that beacon. push on that point. Uh, the tank of RNS is about to be hit and met by a uh, two tanks are literally just sitting up on the hill. Infomercial and Sure, obscure headshot is about to be hit by a C4 snowmobile. But somehow he managed to kill himself by driving himself under a tank and flattening his own self. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's see how he does. Two tanks pushing in side by side. Ten tickets left. Yeah, there's, there's, there is a bit of a push uh, from RNS at the moment. That's pretty much it, guys. Mm, I'm not sure if they're going to play the, the fourth round, but uh, the match definitely goes to FCV. That we just must we we must under misunderstood this and it's uh, there's still rounds left I don't know but I don't think so no I think essentially it's four four rounds um, and FTV have taken three of them so there is no way that RNS yeah. can win. Looks like they're going to play the fourth round. And Russian Red, FTV, and US Blue. And they're gonna try for a little bit of um. Oh wait, looks like FTV have lost one.
Um, assuming that obviously he's been told the word at the one and it's just uh, this stage uh, friendly. Oh, there goes another. That's another one. Yeah, an RNS. Oh, starting like to drop in. Guys. Yeah. Well, no one's reading up, so. Mm. You can only assume that they're busy deciding whether or not they understand or not. I guess maybe a bit of a discussion there as to which way the scoring system is going the same way with ourselves. But it looks like, yeah, after the first round of the tournament, it's going to be uh, point uh, FTV. Yeah. I think I'll just so that, uh, that securely puts RNS out of the tournament. Yeah. Well, I'm going to wrap the wrap my feet up from here guys so I'll uh, say that there's a angry game on Sunday if you just want to tune in for that right. see you soon guys